Welcome back to my channel or of course welcome to my channel if you're new. If you are new then hello, lovely to meet you. My name is Alex and if you are new here make sure you stick around and subscribe. If you're not new and you've been here for a while then why not make sure that notification bell is switched on just to be notified of every single time that I upload. Now for today's video I have a super exciting one because we are going to be putting this advent calendar to the test. I did unbox this recently and finally I'm going to be testing out all of the products in the advent calendar to truly determine whether this advent calendar is worth picking up so if you'd like to see this advent calendar in action see what i think of them then please keep watching okay so firstly we are going to be trying out the primer just a reminder this is what it looks like i have no idea what this is supposed to do i'm just going to assume it's some sort of like moisturizing maybe smoothing priming base but let's have a little go hmm hmm this is what it looks like. It has quite a thick texture to it, but it does feel kind of like a moisturizer. Just grabbing my little mirror to have a look at my face, but obviously I don't think we're gonna get the full grasp of what this primer does until I have my actual makeup on, but it is seeming to be drying down a little bit and it has given me a nice a little base to put my makeup on top. It did feel a little bit hydrating as well. So let's see how makeup applies over the top. So to apply my foundation today, I'm gonna to use the sponge from the Advent Calendar. I'm assuming this is the same sponge in the actual makeup collection set with the little iron frame, but I'm not too sure. It's definitely the same color, um, but I do love these little revolution sponges. So we're gonna be taking this to apply the foundation and the foundation I'm going to use today is the Revolution Conceal and Glow foundation. I freaking love this. If you're like me and you don't like a super heavy, dewy, cakey foundation, you are going to like this one because it dries down and it gives the most like subtle natural glow. It's not too much at all. So I'm going to take some foundation on my sponge and, oh my god, I need to drop the mirror, and apply. I just popped on some concealer and I used the XX Revolution one. Okay, so those are pretty much all the base related items in the advent calendar. Obviously they can't put like bronzers, highlighters, blushes because it's not gonna suit every skin tone. So the calendar is predominantly eyes and lips. I'm gonna go finish off the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. I've got the rest of my base makeup on now and to melt all of these powders together, one of my favorite steps of makeup routine is fixing spray and Luckily we have one in this Game of Thrones advent calendar. So this is what the packaging looks like and it does just have like a black pump on it. Not pump, what is this called? Like a spray on it. Let's now melt all this together. Actually, what is a spray? Mm, a little bit forceful. I can't work out what that smells like. I don't know if it's just like a little bit chemically, but it's a little bit sweet. So this is now my base done. There's a couple spots that it needs to dry down, but all my powders now look nice and smooth. There's no powderiness anywhere. And yeah, I'm really impressed. The primer also, a little bit of an update, very smoothing. So I'd say the primer is like a hydrating, smoothing sort of primer base because I have large pores and my pores are pretty well hidden even with like a non-specific pore filling primer. So this is really nice actually. Skin looks really nice and hydrated, very smooth, non-pory, so I really like this. Okay, so we have lots of eye-related products in this advent calendar, so let's zoom in and get started. Okay, so just a reminder for the eyeshadow palettes, we have House Stark, which is like this, and it has a lot of berry tones in it. Then we have House Lannister, which looks like this. And I forgot to mention this in my unboxing, but the names in this Lannister palette are also Targaryen related as well, which 
is so annoying like so so annoying i wish the names were correct like it's just like little details like that that game of thrones fans are gonna notice um, but hey ho we're gonna create a beautiful warm tone look with this so i think we're just gonna do one palette on each eye and you can let me know which one that you prefer so let's start off with the house of stark palette so firstly i popped on some of the revolution super base eye primer I think I'm firstly going to take the shade Dark, which is the deep purple in the palette, and I'm just going to apply that on my outer corner. Very powdery, but look how pigmented that is. Next, I'm going to take the shade Giant here, and I'm going to blend that at the top and bring it to the front of my lid. These shadows are very, very powdery, but I mean, they seem to be really pigmented. Next, I'm gonna, brilliant. Next, I'm gonna kind of mix like Giant with Nymeria and Kraken just to kind of get a light purpley shade. I really wish there was like a super pale purple in here to finish off the berryness of it, but hey ho, we will make it work. Okay, so just spent some time blending that out and I think it's actually worked really nicely. For the shimmer, I think I'm going to take the shade Lady, which is this one here. And I don't have long nails anymore, so I can just literally take this on my finger and apply it on my lid. I'm just going to take this shade here, which I think is Needle, and I'm just going to blend like the outer edges of that shimmer. For the lower lash line, I'm going to take the dark purple. And then for the inner corner and brow bone, I'm going to take the light bringer, which is this pink shade here. Okay, so that is my look with the House of Stark palette. And now let's move over to this eye with the House of Lannister palette. This one, there's so many match choices. Like, it actually makes my heart so happy. I genuinely don't know what one to go for first. No, I think I'm going to go for the Mad King here. Going to add this again, like I did on the other side. Going to add this to the outer corner. Next, I'm going to take Dragon, which is the red in the palette. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to... I blend it at the top and bring it to the front of my lid. Why am I using a dragon shade in a Lannister palette? I will never know. Next, I'm going to take the shade Fire and Blood. I'm going to blend that at the top of that red. And by the way, this is a very pinky red. It's not super red like the Mother of Dragons palette has in it. And then to blend the very top edge, I'm going to take the shade Stormborn, which is this one here. For the shimmer on my lid, I'm going to take the shade Heart's Bane. For the lower lash line, I'm going to take the shade Family. Then I'm going to take Dragon Glass to finish off my inner corner and brow bone. I like that it's not super icy and white. It is like a nice sort of goldy champagne-y shimmer. I think it goes with the eye look a lot more. Okay, so these are both looks complete. Definitely let me know which one you prefer. Next, we are going to throw on some of this Game of Thrones mascara. This is what the wand looks like and let's just give it a whirl. Okay, so this is what the mascara looks like. It is a very good mascara. It's very nice and lengthening. And I feel like if I kept building that, it would build to a really nice thick mascara. But I am obviously going to be putting these lashes on over the top. So I just wanted to give like a little bit um, of layering underneath. But yeah, that mascara is really good. I'm very surprised. It doesn't like feel like a cheap advent calendar mascara to me it literally feels like this should have been part of the actual makeup collection 
it's bloody good and I'm very impressed. But as I said, I have got to pop these lashes on. This is what they look like. I absolutely love the look of them. I'm going to go throw these on off camera and then I'll be right back. Okay, before I put those lashes on, I completely forgot I have this little liquid shadow in the set. This is what it looks like. And it's just on a little plastic applicator like this. So I'm just going to apply it to like the front of my lid a little bit. see that there at the front of my lid it is beautiful i love the shade it is a lot more neutral in shade compared to the gold i've got on my lid and it does as you can see shine okay i've just patted that in as well this is what it looks like that is super super beautiful right now it's to pop these on be right back okay so i'm back i've now completed my eyes with the eyelashes and this is what they look like so they are definitely on the like cheaper side of lashes you can just tell by the quality of the lash but they are foaming and they are a really nice like natural style so if you do prefer like a natural everyday lash as opposed to like thick heavy lashes I think you'll like these. I did have to trim them down slightly because I do have smaller eyes, but I think they are beautiful. And with like an extra layer of mascara, I think they'd look stunning with like an everyday eye look. I think they're a bit too natural for the this heavy makeup that I've got on at the moment. But I do, I do really like these lashes. I honestly feel like I could wear them for a night out. They are like really luminous and full at the outer edge, like that cat eye effect. I reckon with some um like winged eyeliner these would look amazing but yeah you can genuinely feel that they are more affordable but i really like the look of them okay there are three lip products in this advent calendar we have two bullet lipsticks and we do have a lip gloss okay so these are all of those swatched we have two bullet lipsticks a brownie one and a pinky one and then we also have a lip gloss I'm not quite sure why they decided to put a red lip gloss with such like neutral nude lipsticks. I do kind of wish this was a nude gloss because nude glosses for me are more wearable and secondly they don't it doesn't really match any of the lipsticks in this advent calendar. If you did get any of the matte bombs, this over Cersei Lannister matte bomb would be brilliant because that's a red liquid lipstick. Right, I'm going to go in with the more brownie nude lipstick okay so that is the lipstick there that is a beautiful everyday nude for me i will definitely get my use out of this lipstick and then to finish off i guess we will dab a little bit of this lip gloss in the center <laughs> oh that smell oh it's got a very fruity scent Okay, I've just dabbed on some of that gloss to add a little bit of shine to my lips. And this is my completed look using the Game of Thrones and Revolution Advent Calendar. Definitely let me know what you think of the quality of the products and also which side do we prefer? Berry or like orangey warm tones? I think overall this is an amazing advent calendar and if you are a Game of Thrones fan and love makeup or know someone that loves the both of those, definitely check out this advent calendar. It is brilliant and now that I've tested all of the products as well, I'm even more excited about it. It is £40 but my friend Lou Stevenson has a discount code for the website so I'll link this down below and also I'll leave her code down below as well if you are interested. But overall, I'm super happy with this advent calendar and I cannot wait to keep using these products so i'm gonna wrap this video up here i really hope you enjoyed it and if you did please let me know by smashing the thumbs up button let me know down below what do you think of this advent calendar now that i've tested out all the products i would love to know and of course if you haven't already please subscribe down below and i'll see you in my next video bye